Hi, good evening, Nana here. I've come over to Cincinnati to my daughter's place, and then uh, she has uh, delivered uh, <coughs> my grandson. And then uh, myself and my wife are uh, going to look after the kids <coughs> for the next six months. So we'll be here over here. And then uh, uh, during this period, uh, I there is a big uh, demand or a request <coughs> from many people for conducting a training on fusion supply chain, actually. So I am planning to conduct a training on uh, the fusion supply chain <coughs> modules of inventory, procurement, and order management, all the three put together. <coughs> So it will be on a weekend basis because many of them are working and so what happens is they cannot afford at the time in uh, the evening hours or even in the daytime also. <coughs> so it will be evening batch actually. I'll share my screen now. <coughs> so we have fusion aspirants. So this training is now planned for the supply chain of fusion actually. And then it will be on the basic three modules of inventory, procurement and order management. It starts on 22nd of June. It's a weekend batch, and so what happens will be having the classes only on Saturday and Sunday. <clears throat> and then I am planning to have this session for about approximately six weeks, so 60 hours. So every day, five hours, and so uh, two days in a week, and so it's 10 hours a week, and so six weeks is approximately 60 hours. But I have my own feeling that it will be uh, overshooting it actually because if the interactions are good, <clears throat> and then uh, if you have to even debate on certain topics. I am expecting it to go to up to 80 hours or 90 hours actually. <clears throat> so let us see about how it's progressing. Uh, so my, uh, as usual, you can now see my coverage will be in-depth and then you will now become implementation ready by the time you complete the, all the three modules now. Uh, I am in the Eastern time actually. So I'm sitting in this place now. <clears throat> so I have a plan of conducting this training for about five hours every day on the weekends, on Saturdays and Sundays. <clears throat> So I have now given you the timing, uh, which are uh, basically uh, the Indian timing, actually. Fine, for 4 3 p.m. 4 3 p.m. is uh, 7 a.m. for me, actually. So someone to, what happens, every session will be for approximately 75 minutes now. Uh, and then I have given you the GMT time also, so you can arrive at your country's time, actually. <clears throat> so it's the Indian time, and then there's the GMT time, so you can arrive at your country time. So at 5.45 p.m., I'll be having my breakfast, actually, and for open hour. So it, uh, it comes to what, 7, 8, 15 for me. And then uh, off an hour, I'll be having a breakfast. And then the second session will start. Every day, I'll be having four sessions, actually. So the second session will be for, for 75 minutes now. And then afterwards, the third session will start at 7, 45 p.m. to 9 p.m. of India. And then the final session will be from 9, 15 p.m. to 10, 30 p.m. <clears throat> so this is how the plan is now. So we'll have four sessions on Saturdays and Sundays, actually. <clears throat> so this is how it is. The agenda is now kept in the bottom as it's now fine. So the agenda is uh, telescopic in nature, or I will not come to the agenda and then I'll tell you about what exactly it means now. Okay. So uh, 60 hours, it may even go up to 80 or 90 hours, depending upon the interaction actually. Okay. Live interaction is one of the excellent one uh, in a live training session, okay. even though it's going to be only on online. But you can uh, ask your doubts then and there, and then uh, get the things clarified actually. So it'll be that. And then you'll know, definitely become implementation ready, you'll know, knowing the how complete setups. It's not, I'm not going to go through any of the PowerPoints. It'll all be practical. Fine. It will be totally practical, and then you will now love it. And then you can even view my channel Ananta Nana in YouTube now. Fine, you can now see so many promotional videos have been kept over there. Now. <clears throat> it will be giving you a good idea about how I am covering actually. You will be given a web Zoom conferencing link for joining the session actually, and then you can even download the records, and then you can even view and practice the session at your leisure time, and then ask me should be questions now. Fine. So when you have any questions, you can even write to me at nana.app60 at gmail.com. So that I will not clarify your doubts also. <clears throat> I will be given a vision instance also to practice actually. So that you can practice then and there. And then in about a score in a span of six to eight weeks, you will now become expert on this three modules actually. You can now very well say that you know these modules very well. Fine. You will now have a very good fundamental concepts here. And then afterwards, uh, you can enhance your knowledge by going through it in a great depth actually. So the, it has been very cheaply priced actually. It's only INR 10,000 now, right? For the three modules. It's Indian rupees 10,000. Uh, per participant actually. So please send me a screenshot once when you make a payment and then to my mail ID of anonymous 60 at gmail.com and then get registered for the course actually. <clears throat> you can make a payment to another uh, details as below. Now. My bank details are I have uh, bank details in four banks now. One is an RBL bank. So this is what it is. So you can even what happens, pass it and then note down the details on this one. And if you're getting this uh, file as a what happens as a <clears throat> as a file you can even write to me and then I will now send this file to you. So that what happens you can note down it very clearly. So this is RBL bank. And then I have a HDFC bank. <clears throat> so this is account details for the HDFC bank. So I am staying in Madras actually. My account is in Madras. 
So this is the account details of the HCFD bank. And then I have an account in ICIC bank also. So these are the details of the ICIC bank. So you can pass and then take a screenshot of it and then what happens, you can now make a payment, you can register and make a payment with 10,000 rupees and then send me the screenshot and then I will now acknowledge you that you have you are registered for the course now. Fine. <clears throat> it will be definitely be a very good interaction and then uh, it will be a healthy interaction so that you will learn a lot on this now. Fine. If you are totally new to uh, Fusion, I will be comparing eBiz at uh, many, many stages actually. Fine. My comparison will be with eBiz also. So when I compare with eBiz, you can now see about how exactly it is working upon and so uh, you will be able to understand things and uh, take the direction. Those who are already familiar with eBiz, they will be finding it's a cakewalk. It will not be a difficult one at all. So you have this thing and then if you want to make a payment through Google Pay, what happens? One of my students paid from America, then he didn't accept it all. India didn't accept it all. So if you are in India, you can very well use this uh, number for making a Google Pay. For others outside India, what happens? The Google Pay will not work in India actually. Fine. So it is a country specific Google Pay. So those in India only can make a payment via Google Pay or you can even pay via Paytm also, this mobile number. So again, what happens is I try to send a screenshot to me and then I get my confirmation. And then OC students can very well pay through uh, Instagram. Fine, this is a very good one. And then uh, Remitly is also there and then Zoom.us. These are the three, uh, what happens, a very good payment processes available in the world actually. So through them, you can very well uh, make a payment to me and then uh, get registered for the course actually. And then when you are registering through this, what happens, they will be asking me the, my details also. So these are my, my details now, fine. my first name, last name, this is my address actually. And then uh, you can even uh, mention the bank as a HDFC bank. <coughs> and then you can even pay via the Remitly, uh, Instagram or Remitly or Zoom. So this details can be used now. So uh, you can now see that what happens, uh, the agenda is now attached. I am in the third page of 36 pages actually. So here, uh, I, it'll be, I will be again making a fresh agenda because what happens is a module specific agenda actually. And then I'm not going to make a, what happens, one SCM agenda for all the three modules combined together because the setups are going to be common for all the three modules actually. So the inventory agenda is like here. Go there, go further, go further. <clears throat> so it's, uh, it is going to create, the complete enterprise structure will be created actually. Right from scratch, you will now create your own enterprise structure. And then through which, what happens, you'll now make a skeleton financial setups now. So legal entity will be creating it. And then we will now be creating the chart of accounts. <clears throat> and then we will be having three segmental chart of accounts for this training as such. And then uh, <clears throat> finally, what happens, we will now uh, do the primary ledger creation. <clears throat> and then finally, we will now give values for the, uh, what's called our uh, segmental values on this now. And then uh, we will now go ahead and then create our primary ledger, and then specific ledger options. And then we will now see all the basic ones. And then you will now have a skeleton financial setups ready for what happens is setting up your inventory, procurement and order management on that created structure actually. So we will now open the videos and then afterwards we will look at the business units now. And then after the business unit is now created, <coughs> I will now show you what exactly is the service provider and the client relationship as such now. And then I will now go into the HRMS and then do some minimal job creations and then the department creations and position creations also for this exercise now. If, if uh, uh, what happens, efficient procurement is implemented without HRMS, you only have to create all these things now. So you'll be taught about how to do all these things now. Fine. If HCM is installed, those guys will be doing it. So you'll also be getting an employment also. <clears throat> and then you'll be assigning the roles actually. So once when this is done, we will now come back. All the roles are getting assigned over here now. Fine. And then afterwards, what exactly is an item organization? What you will be able to see in a workday calendar in is now fine. That is equivalent to what's called a facility ship, your workday pattern as well as a facility schedule actually. And then afterwards, we'll now go further and then create the inventory org and then write and then do it now. Fine. There are plenty of setups like this now. Fine. Each and every setup will be taught to you. So that when you go to the field, you will be in a position to independently implement this product actually. <clears throat> so then afterwards, the basic procurement setup also done. But I will be modifying these setups because what happens is a combined course. And so for the inventory, what happens, I will not do some basic procurement setups. Whereas for the complete one, what happens, I'll be doing all the setups now. <coughs> then I come to the inventory. There are four three things are there. One of the controls, and then one of the transfers, and then one of the replenishments, and then one of the accuracy. These are the four topics on the basic inventory now. So all these things will be fully taught about, and then you will now learn some more inventory fundamentals on this now. <clears throat> and then I normally go for a PO receiving uh, in the inventory training itself. But uh, what happens at this training for the SEM training? I'll be uh, making a different agenda. So it's no point because I do the PO receiving and then I do it now. So similarly, the procurement agenda is also there. And that is again going to begin with the same thing actually. But what happens if we get clubbed and then what happens is all we're going to be to the scope event. So go down, go down. So there is plenty of things to learn actually. We'll be learning a lot in this training. 
and then uh, uh, you will now learn uh, some uh, the costing also fine costing also we covered about how to set up the costing actually fine it is different from ebiz and very powerful one so costing will also be covered in this training actually <clears throat> uh, there are plenty of stuff for there so i don't want to explain everything because this session will be one now because what happens this is a, a setup for the order management actually so it's all done in a, in a piecemeal fashion i have just attended and i have to create one a common uh, order as a worksheet for all the three models put together and then to be done now <clears throat> My granddaughter is crying. <laughs> She's not taking bath actually. <laughs> okay, right. the business unit creation, <clears throat> the human capital management setups, all these things are there. <clears throat> and then afterwards, the inventory setups again. It will not be done as such now. It will be done only once now there. And then the basic order management the setups will not begin over here now. And then it will not go for that. And then it, it, the procurement setup would have been completed over here now. And then the pure order management setups now over here on the order entry front. The order entry front will be done. And then you will be learning about uh, the shipping execution as well as the receivable setups. Also. So that extra will be learning it now. Right? The receivable setups also done. So you'll be able to push the sales after the sales order is being successfully created and shipped. It will be pushed into AR also. So how to push it? How to make the basic setups of AR will also be taught to you. Similarly, how to make the basic setups of uh, AP also. So it will be a P2P life cycle as well as the OTP life cycle intro actually. So on a payable side also you learn something, and then on the receivable side also you learn some, learn something. And then we go there. <coughs> we'll now learn about the advanced shipping concepts now. Pricing and advanced pricing will also be covered. Fine. It is not that extent to uh, EBS now. EBS has got a uh, plenty of things as far as the pricing and advanced pricing is concerned now. But uh, uh, here, what happens? It is not that much as not confined. So that you'll now learn about whatever is possible now. And then on the global order promising front, what happens? We'll be seeing a back to back buy and then a transfer. And then what happens? A drop ship or a make, and then a configure order fine. So there are plenty of steps to what happens uh, come up on this now. Fine, you'll be learning a lot on this now. <clears throat> so in about 60 to 90 hours time, uh, you will now become almost. Uh, you will now be knowing the subject to a great extent, and then uh, what happens? Uh, that will help you a lot in your implementation aspects. Now, fine. So uh, you try to register for the course, and then if you have any doubts, you can even write to me at nanadarap60 at gmail.com for any clarifications. Now, <clears throat> just basically write the clarification. And then the course starts on 22nd of June. So try to register yourself uh, well in advance. And then uh, mm, <clears throat> there is a, a limitation on my uh, Zoom uh, network. And so what happens if the participants uh, go beyond a certain amount, I will not be able to register them. I have to only go for the next uh, uh, next program only. So register fast and then uh, uh, see that you are in you know, for the training program as such. <clears throat> so with this. I stop and then uh, if you have any questions or anything else, you can write to me and then uh, I will now clarify all your doubts. This training will be in depth. And then uh, my, um, uh, what happens, uh, my delivery speed is always fast actually. And so whenever you're getting um, struck on uh, what I teach, you can even stop and ask me or otherwise in the next session, you can even note down and then you can ask all your doubts. So we'll now clarify it and then we'll now try to see it at your own pace and then we'll now learn it now. Fine. So we have to be comfortable on this now and then you have to practice it. And then whatever I cover on the weekend, what happens? You try to cover on that whole week and then try to complete it. So in that fashion, by, the, by, by two months time, what happens? You will become uh, a reasonably a good expert right, on the uh, on implementing the supply chain as far as fusion applications is concerned. We'll be conducting it on at least 13 instances actually, right? uh, at least 13 of uh, 19B actually. <clears throat> okay, 2019 and then uh, so every year Oracle is releasing four four uh, things now. Right? A and B, B has come now right? on 19B of release 13. This training will be conducted. And so what happens with this, I conclude this and then uh, we will have uh, what happens with your Zoom session very fast. Right? <clears throat> so uh, bye for now and then we will now meet soon on 22nd of June and then we will now continue on. So fine, bye. Not here. <clears throat>